Okay, last set. Two ball set and abs. So I'm on my knees right now. You don't have to be on your knees. It's just easier for me to get on the floor and keep the camera still. All right, now you see me, I'm in my bedroom. The ball shouldn't drop. If it does, hopefully your neighbors will forgive you and your mom. It's kind of annoying. I know there are people downstairs, but here we go. We have two balls, okay? And we're just gonna practice this. Now some of my advanced kids, they are a little rusty on this at the start. And then in the advanced series, we start adding footwork to all this. But you really wanna get this down as the basic set. This is the basic back, good. Now if you wanna switch hands, it's a good idea. You can try the ball in the other hand. You can use two basketballs, a ball of socks, anything round that won't break. And then you're gonna alternate. Again, you should have your favorite music on because I get kind of boring. Maybe I'll lay a soundtrack behind this when I produce it. All right, so that's the alternate one. Now we have windmills. Windmill, windmill, windmill. So we try to go 10 in each direction and then 10 the other way. Windmill, windmill. Again, just change when I change for now, and trust me, if you keep doing this, you'll be able to stay right with me, if not past me. And I left all the bloopers in because it happens. Okay, that was over 10. Now we're gonna do the whole set together. So now you're gonna go together for 10. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, whoops, 10. Okay, now you're gonna alternate for 10. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's switch hands. Alternate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now you windmill for ten. Okay, and then I'm going to teach you the last set. So windmill one way. And then you're going to windmill the other way. Okay, now the last set is cross, cross, catch, catch. It's the base of juggling. Cross, cross, catch, catch. So I cross right, left, I make an X. X, X, catch, catch. X, X, catch, catch. X, X, catch, catch to 10. I lead with my right hand to 10. My right hand goes first for 10. Okay, catch up with me. And then you're gonna go left hand first because you usually have a dominant hand and dominant foot and you wanna even those out. So cross, cross, catch, catch. Cross, cross, catch, catch. So make an X, X, catch, catch. All right, so the whole set and then we'll do the ab workout. So you're gonna go like this. You're gonna start, we're gonna go 50, okay? We're not gonna switch hands. We're just gonna go, actually windmill we will. Okay, so we're gonna stay same hand, ready? Together, one, two, three, four, five, six, hold it up high, throw it up high, seven, whoops, eight, nine, 10. Okay, now we're gonna alternate, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. And then we windmill. six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then you windmill the other way. It's really important, I think, to throw the windmill the other way because I know my left hand's a little bit off. Now, the last set of ten, here we go, is the cross, cross, catch, catch. Cross, cross, catch, catch. Cross, cross, catch, catch. Cross, cross, catch, catch. Oops, cross, cross. You're going to do just whatever way you want. I actually alternate because I go right first and then I go left first. So if you can do that, it's pretty cool. Left first and then right hand first. So I just get a little rhythm going. And that's what juggling is. So I, I learned how to juggle, I don't know, probably 10 years ago. And I always had good hands as a basketball player. And I think this is really relaxing. That's why I like to do it. So I'm also getting a pretty good sweat in, in the room here. Okay, so that's that. Now we're gonna move the camera and you're gonna get on the ground. If you need to, gra gra uh, to grab some water, go ahead. And then we're gonna do our abs. I am not particularly good at abs, but I try. And I came up with a pretty cool series where you're gonna use the ball. So the first one, I'll go to the side. And if you have a bed, this is actually really helpful. I'll do it. When I work out with the kids, I don't have this bed here. I work out on the porch, but uh, I also have something behind me. I may have to move. So if you have the bed, don't be afraid to hook your feet under the bed. Now, we're going to pretend that you don't have a bed. So I'm going to go here, okay? And you're going to go, just do regular sit-ups. Just for 10, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, eight, nine, 10. Okay, stretch at the top. Now you're gonna put the ball here for 10 and do crunches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Now it's gonna get a little harder. You're gonna grab the ball. Okay, you're gonna go up. You're going to get it here, go up. 
you're going to pass it. Okay? So that's our 30. Okay, that's our 30. We're going to 30, and we're going to do it all together in the second round. This is our practice round. But really, you should work on getting better each time. Those are my housemates out in the, out in the room. Okay, so let's say we're at 10. Now you're going to go one way around. So you're going to go one way for 10. If you have to lock your feet, go ahead. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 the other way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now you go through. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Guys, quiet out there. I'm filming. I'll call you back, okay? Luke, quiet. Here we go. Now you're going to put, they're calling their friends on the iPad. Okay. The last one should be a nice relief for your back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Luke, I'm filming something. Can you move away from the door? Nine. Thank you. 10. You can hold it for 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Very good. Okay, the last set. Hold on a second. Luke and Reese, I asked you to move away from the door, please. Please move away from the door. Thank you. All right, so that is our ab set. We're going to do it together now. Sorry about the little ones. They're kind of tired of me. Uh, we work out all the time. So here we go, the full set, you're going to start with crunches. So we're going to go 10 of each. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Put it up here. Crunches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now you're going to pass it. Tap. Pass it to your ankles. One, two, three, four. I keep my knees a little bent on these. Six, because my back hurts a little bit, but not too bent. Eight, nine, whoo. 10. Now we do the hardest the set of 30. We're going to go one way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yikes, eight, nine, ten. One, through the legs. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. That's from a, a, a disc and a fracture in my back, so sometimes it hurts, but I power through. All right, so the next one we're doing is the bridge, my favorite, and then we have push-ups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold it for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Roll it down. Now push-ups. I just like to do a plank because I don't know how great kids are at this age or anyone really is it doing a push-up on the ball. But you can do ten ball push-ups. Two, or you can just hold it. And this is gonna end our workout. Three, four, ah, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Oh gosh. Okay. So that's the basic. That's the three segments of the basic ball handling air handle series with no dribbling. We have the advanced in both the air handles and we have both advanced and basic in the dribbling series if you're allowed to dribble. So email me, check out our site, momotion.org, momotion.com, jump in our Zoom classes, sign up for privates. We'll keep you moving and keep your skills getting better.